Good evening, modelers. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you're if you're a first time viewer, uh, welcome. Please subscribe. I have plenty more videos coming for you in the in the near future. If you're a, a return viewer, thanks very much for coming back again. Uh, so I'm just doing another quick unboxing of a kit I've had for a while today. Um, first impression is what I'm looking to get really. Uh, I don't exactly know when I'm going to build this, um, but it is a bit of a mystery to me, mainly well for several reasons. One, I really don't know much about the about the aircraft at all. Um, I, I don't know too much about Soviet World War II era, um, if, if indeed it is uh, actually World War II era. Looks like it might be. Um, I don't really know too much about Soviet aircraft at all, outside of the uh, <coughs> outside of the ones that you mo most likely hear about the you know the IL IL two and the Yak three that sort of thing. Um, so it's a bit of a mystery to me. Uh, nice looking aircraft though, as far as the box art is concerned. Um, it's also the first time I've done a kit from Zvezda, if I'm saying that right. Please feel free to correct me if I'm saying that wrong, um, because there's every chance I am doing. But uh, as far as I can read it, I think it's uh, Zvezda. Maybe that's hopefully that's right. Don't want to offend anybody. Um, but I'm just going to take a look at the, the kit itself, see what's inside the box, um, try and set my own expectations for uh, what to expect when I eventually get to uh, work on this. So nice, nice, nice box art. Looks good. Um, let's get the box open. It's a fairly sturdy box. I thought that means an awful lot, but uh, it's quite well packaged. Lots of um, lots of cardboard in here to get recycled when you're done. And we open that. There we go. That's your first challenge: getting into the box. Uh, we have some instructions here. Uh, is the uh, Petliakov PE2, which is apparently a dive bomber. Um, apparently, this was nicknamed the Peshka. Uh, it was the most numerous Soviet bomber of World War II from 1943. Uh, they used more of these than all of their other bombers put together. Uh, it participated in almost every campaign of the Red Army, uh, being used mainly for ground attack missions, as you would expect for a bomber. <coughs> um, okay, so initial impressions looking at the instructions, it's a fair number of sprues. Uh, <coughs> and the first thing that I see when I look at that there, straight away, is that in comparison to most other um, in comparison to most other 148 scale aircraft that I've built um, that's a very very detailed engine when you consider that it's more than likely going to be uh, covered away inside the, uh, the fuselage um, I guess uh, there must be some options for showing the interior but that's a promising start or, or or a bit daunting, depending on your perspective. Um, but if you're a lover of detail, then this is definitely looking positive uh, from my own experience anyway, in relation to kits I've done on the same scale. You don't tend to get many that have an engine that's that's got this sort of detail to it. Uh, obviously, I presume there's also two of these as well. So the instructions themselves seem reasonably detailed, but if I'm honest, they are not. I don't know whether they're necessarily going to be the most uh, intuitive to follow. It might be quite easy to miss something. There's a lot of detail here. Definitely not one to rush. Definitely not one to do while you've got three or four kits on the go at the same time on, on the bench, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, you're going to miss something. Okay, all looking good. Let's 
So you know, it does come with some figures as well, which is nice. Not that, not that that's something that I normally bother with, but it's good to have the option. Okay, uh, the, uh, the details as per the uh, the livery and the paint scheme is adequate, but not as detailed as the as the rest of the instructions. So, you know, normally on a 148 scale kit, you probably get two or three pages dedicated to two different liveries or um, decal placements and that sort of thing. Um, sure this this doesn't seem to be lacking in 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 any way, but it's not as detailed as it could be when you consider the, the level of detail the rest of the kit. Let's put that to one side for now. Let's have a look at the kit itself. Get these bags open. Straight away, um, quality of the moulding is very good. Uh, plastic is firm, but not too thick. Um, it doesn't appear to be any significant flash um, on there. I don't know how well you can see it on my my uh, video from my phone, but there is an awful lot of detail on the wing surfaces. Like literally thousands of little rivets, but they are um, recessed, they're not raised. So, uh, if you're someone that is a fan of um, fine detail, you're probably going to love this kit. It's very, very nice. Um, whether it's, uh, you know, by the time you prime it and paint it, whether it's, whether it's um, deep enough and uh, I don't know, what, what, I'm not sure what, what the right phrase is, whether it's um, significant enough in terms of its texture that you're actually going to see much of it, I'm not entirely sure. But it's definitely nice that it's there. It's very, very detailed. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, in any sense, it's hard to consider that a negative, whatever the case. Uh, it's a similar story for the uh, fuselage. Got just as much detailing as, as the wings. Even on the interior, as we can see of the fuselage, there's a lot more detail than you'd normally see. Very nice. before I stab myself. Okay. Same story here again on the um, on the engine coverings, uh, the engine housing. You can see again it's a lot of detail in line with the rest of the kit. Um, all very well molded. Nothing broken that I can see, everything very crisp and clean, no flash, very impressed. Now, what I would say is that I don't know too much, like I said before, I've never built a Zvezda kit before. I don't know whether they make these themselves and whether this is, um, whether this is representative of their, of their general quality of their kits. Or I know there are some companies out there that tend to repurpose um, existing molds and therefore you may get a bit of um, variation in the different kits that they produce based on the quality of the molds that they buy. Um, so I'm afraid I, I, I don't want to give you a, a generalization that all kits from this manufacturer are you know, extremely high quality, but this one looks absolutely fantastic. It looks really, really good. If anybody wants to uh, put me put me right in terms of 
the normal quality of uh, the Zvezda. So, Zvezda kits. You're more than welcome. I'd very much appreciated if you can do that. go into too much detail through all the various bits and pieces that are in here but there's lots of little peeps pieces of um, pipe work for the engines um, very very finely molded I can see me I, I've got big fat clumsy fingers I can see me breaking some of these when I'm when I'm trying to build this uh, but that is not you know obviously that's not a flaw that's not a flaw in the kit that's my own um, my own physiological shortcomings unfortunately so um, you can't complain that there's too much detail I mean it's really really good there's an awful lot on here and we've got a couple of identical sprues as you can imagine one of these is going to be for each each uh, each engine so you've got all the uh, the props there's a three bl a three bladed propeller um, Again, on the engine housing, lots of uh, fine detail. Um, a little bit of ordnance on here as well. Good moulding on the wheels. Wheels have gotten some nice tread on the tyres. Um, yeah, I have to say I'm very, very impressed. So, as far as the build quality of the, the kit, that looks great. Obviously, that doesn't mean it's going to go together nice and easily. I'm sure you've all done kits like, like, like myself where it looks like it's going to be fantastic and then come try and put it together, it just doesn't work. Um, clear sprue is reasonably straightforward, there's not a lot of clear parts on the aircraft. Uh, but we've even got riveting detail on the, uh, on the canopy as well. So yeah, I'm very impressed, it's a very, very nice kit. And I guess finally, also a very important part is the decals. Now, part of me, part of me wants to say, I'm not gonna, in fact, I'm going to leave that in the packet for now. But part of me wants to say that, um, given the, given the intricacy of the rest of the kit, that that seems pretty sparse. But I think you also have to consider, you know, realism. The fact of the matter is, you know, World War II Soviet aircraft didn't have much in terms of <laughs> decoration, right? It was um, camouflage paint job, some red stars, maybe some little insignias, and that was about it. So, you, you know, you, you can you can make it as real as you like, but if it if the aircraft itself wasn't wasn't liveried to hell, then the model isn't going to be either. So, I think that's about as good as you can possibly expect, really, for a. Uh, for a 1940s era um, Soviet plane, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm no complaints on that. They look, they look like they're good quality. They're not, um, they don't feel too thick. Some of the Tamiya ones I've dealt with have been very, very thick and just don't look good once you apply them to the model. But this looks really nice. Um, very impressed. So there we go. Um, just to uh, finally say that is the. Svesta. Again, let me know if that's not how you pronounce it. Don't want to offend anyone. Zvezda uh, Petlyakov PE2. That was a Soviet dive bomber for World War II. Um, looks like a very, very good kit. And I'm very impressed. And I'll definitely be taking a look for um, any other Zvezda kits when I'm at shows. Assuming we ever get to go to any shows again, anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a whole different, a whole different story. A different conversation so yeah I, I would highly recommend this kit if you're interested in the era if you're interested in the subject um, very very nice kit so thanks for listening um, and uh, hopefully you found that helpful if it's something you might be considering purchasing or building um, please subscribe I've got lots of other videos either already posted on my channel or in the works um, and I uh, 
happy to take any questions if you've got any queries you or something you want to ask or if there's something that i can make a video on more than happy um but yeah thanks for watching uh have a good evening good happy modeling